cuties and <laughs> welcome to another video um that was very much necessary hi cutie <laughs> as you can tell by the title of this video today i'm going to show you my space just because i feel like every time we talk about um cute decor and just like making your space look nice um we're scared because we feel like it costs a lot of money so yeah i'm going to show you how you can upcycle use the stuff that you already have and just bring it together and add a few elements and just make it look cute but on a budget so yeah i hope you enjoy this video right so do you want to start with the rock as you had already started <laughs> this is what we used to hold the door um lucy painted over it you will see she paints over everything anyways come in oh before you come in um that mirror over there is my favorite part of like the entry into the house i think it's very nice i am over here there's plants this is one of the eldest plants we have right um this is lo one yes okay cool this is very recent um lucy did this when i was in lesotho and i came oh what is it doing it's growing nice okay and then this one also one of the ogs yeah but i used to keep it in the office so lucy didn't know it till recently but yeah that's new collage um and then yeah the person who is in charge of washing the dishes is on strike today so yeah nothing to see and then this side um we have a regular regular two plate oven this is where we keep our fruit this i took from home it was one of my mom's things so it's yeah it's part of my inheritance i guess and then this used to be a bottle of Khmer and then when the Khmer was finished I never threw it away and now it's making a cute vase and I picked these up on the street somewhere um they had just cut the tree and then I took these and then we found this here Lucy's using it now because she got expensive coffee as a birthday present and then this was gifted to me second hand gifted to me by Mukle when they were moving to their new home and I've kept it ever since and then this kettle was a birthday present Guys, keep note, I haven't spent my own money on anything here, ne? Um, this was a birthday present from, I think, 2018, and I just kept it and I never used it because I was living in a commune, so I didn't need to use my own kettle. And then, um, yeah, this, these flowers were Lucy's birthday present, but this, as you can see, is a mayonnaise jar that we also didn't throw away. I did buy these because I felt like it would be cute for them to have like a cute set. This is where we keep our snacks. Donnell, Lucy and Pam devoured the sour worms. Mostly Donnell. Mostly you and Donnell, to Mostly be honest. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Between the two of you, you guys will decide. Um, so yeah, that's the cute space. This is our fridge. This microwave I bought a long time ago. I think when I started working. And then I also just kept it. Um, so it's coming in handy now. This fridge is not ours. We found it here. I just had to clean it when we moved in. And then I like this. Um, someone took this picture of us at Afropunk and we were really excited because we were moving into uh, this place the following day. So it was really, really cute. Do you remember? Mm. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, and then these uh, other things. Sasha broke this the first time they came here. Um, I need to just implement that plan from my house. I think Sasha is not allowed here anymore. You're not going to talk about your baby picture ah oh, guys i mean what can we say you can see that i was born for this guys i was imitating the cameraman and i don't know any more manifestation than this like honestly yeah this picture reminds me all the time that i'm doing what i love and this is what i've always wanted to do from when i was a baby so that's really cute that's just me being naked doing what i love <laughs> yeah and then what else yeah plants these i got from david um apparently they're from thailand he didn't have space for them or he, maybe they just didn't work with his aesthetic so i took them um a long time ago and i kept them in my wardrobe and now i can use them lucy she couldn't even wait to show you guys um yeah this is Don't a spin pot the plant all the other around that that's the ugly side that is there's an ugly side <laughs> well you know what 
everyone deserves to know you baby girl and your true colors so yeah she painted over that because she paints over everything and then lucy hates our couch because well it's not even ours we found it here so that's the couch we just covered it with the throw and some cute we did spend money of the, on these because we didn't have cute um cushion covers so yeah that's the first thing we spend money on and then these are also from a long long time ago i like that they complete the whole plant thing that's happening in the house um this is from lucy's birthday party just when was it the day before and this is a plant that we took outside in the garden Tim. <laughs> apparently her name is TMB. I i don't remember where we got this but i know we didn't buy it i think we took it from where i used to live yeah one of the expropriation of things without compensating or oh, people love that for us and then we use this as storage that's why there's this part because obviously our place is really small but yeah we try and be creative with um storage and stuff and then there's this plant um also didn't spend money of this on this this one outside and i asked if i can have it and they said i can have it and then we expropriated ex expropriated yeah this from where the streets uh, the are corner yeah, yeah. <laughs> some um, estate <laughs> yeah and then this is lucy's artwork this and this this is really new it's from yesterday actually last yeah, night no was no shading. Mm -hmm. and then this one was the first one she completed when we were here, so I decided to put it up. Um, and then this is from her friend Zara. Love, love, love. And then, yeah, that's just a table. Also, we got it here, but I like that it's like so old. Um, it just works. And obviously, it wouldn't be me without a radio. This is also quite old, but it's nice because I get to listen to the radio, which I love. Um, and then there's this girl. We did spend money on this. Um, Lucy bought it and then she drew on it, as you can see here. This was a nice present for me. Love it, love it, love it. Guys, my girlfriend is creative. Please let me know if you want to buy stuff from her. We, we can make that happen. But yeah, this is like one of my favorite plants in the house. I think it's actually my most favorite. I'm not sure. It changes all the time. Um, and then more of the grass chairs. Cute because again, we only have that couch. So you can sit here. And then there's this. We also got this here. So Nunzuzo actually gave us the idea to use it as a coffee table so that we can be able to store our books and it looks mad cute um yeah there's too many books to go through but i can go through my favorites sure cool my okay i'll start with this one because it's the one i see this is, was a good book but this is it belongs to you mm -hmm. yeah but I'll it's still there but ah and we steal from our friends and i love it this is one of my favorite uh books this belongs to my girlfriend i love it too oh yes <laughs> love 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 um i have not finished reading it i don't know if i should have said that that looks bad on me but yeah this is also one of my favorite books um one of my high school teachers bought it for me as a birthday present so that was really really special um i have read all of my angelo's autobiographies so that's one of the things i brag about i don't know if i can brag about reading but you know what you know what i did that um as you can see from how old it is this is a iconic moment classic. in our history listen classic 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 piece of piece of literature and yeah it's actually my favorite book in life in general um this is also one of my favorite books i don't own this this is non Zuzos, but i've had it for like ever so yeah love 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 this book i've never related to a character more so those are my faves um what else is my fave on here ah, of course african sky blue this is my favorite collection of poetry ever 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 mushrooms we love mushrooms yeah yes, we mushrooms. did mushrooms in english yeah that's one of my favorite songs i mean poems where is it Shabin Queen is also one of my favorite poems. There we go. Mushrooms. I'm going to recite it, baby. Please come closer so that people can hear how good I am with poetry. Okay, mushrooms. 
by Sylvia Plath. Overnight, every, whitely, discreetly, very quietly, our toes, our noses, take hold on the lawn. Acquire their air, nobody sees us, stops us, betrays us, the small grains make room. Soft fists insist on heaving the needles, the leafy bedding, even the paving, our hammers, our rams, earless and eyeless, perfectly voiceless, widen the crannies, shoulder through holes, we diet on water, on crumbs of shadow, bland-mannered, asking, little or nothing, so many of us, so many of us. We are shelves, we are tables, we are meek, we are edible. <laughs> I'm edible. Nudges and shovers, in spite of ourselves, our kind multiplies. We shall by morning inherit the earth, our foots in the door. Love it, love it, love it. Very, so affirming, so inspirational and motivational so powerful i don't know i really yeah it's one of the stuff from high school i hated high school but this and maru just like yeah it stuck with me and it's some of the words that i carry um throughout my life okay moving right along um we shall oh and then there's this um this i bought for true rand at a yard sale and then we bought the plant um, in that other video where we went to that farm for a cute date and then we cut the plant in two because we could do that and it just worked. And there's this one. We expropriated from my previous landlord. Love to see it. So proud of us. Wow. Viva. Freedom. Um, and then we are in our bedroom. We are right in here. So much that here. Um, this is another plant i don't know where did we get this plant on the road yeah somewhere on the road these are from our travels these are from east london right yeah some are from east london yeah these are from east london and then these are from lesotho and then these shells were given to me by lucy's brother in east london so i like that and then um this is my side of the bed where there are the sunflowers thanks babes um, and a picture of my mom and some slave because yeah <laughs> and this lamp that Carissa bought for me at a yard sale it was how much was it I think it was but it's 30 rand I, I remember this was 30 rand but I don't remember how much this was I think it was also around that same price so nice and then our bed my favorite place Actually, it's Lucy's favorite spot. She eats here, she chills here, she does everything here. Um, this bed was gifted to me by my brother. It's literally the only thing my brother has ever done for me in life. So I really, really cherish it and I love it. And then the bedding um, Lucy owned previously, so we didn't need to buy any new bedding and it just works. Our lives just literally did this and we just made everything that we owned before work and put it together. Um, yeah, so the theme in this house is just upcycle. This was from um, washing basket and then Lucy cut it up and made it a mat. <laughs> That's what we do. And then there's this chair, also inherited. This was my mom's chair. It's actually a beautiful chair, but then we just throw shit on it because I'm sure everyone has that chair in their house. Honestly, there's nothing shocking about what we're doing here. Um, and then this is Lucy's side of the bedroom. Um, yeah, she has a snake plant, which I have forced her to put here. But look, guys, shocking. She painted on it. Is anyone shocked? Because I'm not. <laughs> so yeah, that's what she has on her side of the bed. And then again, more of these. I think I wanted to put this one here because it matches with deeding and then things just don't like clash too much. This is a nice rail slash shelf. Um, that we got from David again really hardly ever spent on any money on this thing and then this was a bowl funny story when was it was it last year or in 2018 when we did a surprise birthday for Cebu 
Bushe asked me to borrow her bills and then I took some bills from my landlord because we shared the kitchen and then I got them back but I never put them up because I couldn't reach because I'm too short so they just chilled in my room and then when I asked Lucy to put them yo like a year oh, wow over a year later when i asked um lucy to put them up for me we realized that this one had broke so we just decided to keep it and now we're using it for our plants look at that i love it and then where did i get this on the road yeah at the old place oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's this one she's doing really really well um we did buy this one because it was really really cheap i think he was 35 rand yeah i think so but yeah very cheap so we did buy it and then obviously this is my present for lucy Valentine's day this is her birthday card that people were supposed to sign but then we got drunk and i forgot everything that had to happen um and then what do we have yeah this is where i keep obviously the jackets we'll talk about the jackets in another video but this is where I keep my jewelry. This is where I keep my makeup. There's the candles there. Baby, come this way. Um, this is where I, yeah, this is just where we keep stuff. Meh. And then this mirror I bought in Randburg at the, fuck, I always forget this. Rand View Center. Is that it? Before you get to the taxi rank. I have no idea. Anyways, it was really cheap. I think it was 270 and I've had it ever since. And then we have Solange here, also one of the originals that we've had. And she's growing. She's actually doing quite well. Huh. I think, oh no, we're not done. There's a fucking bathroom. <sighs> Oh no! We have to, we have to, we have to. Like, lady. It's been on. <laughs> okay, I forgot to share about this. Guys, it's either you know or you don't, but if you don't, I'll educate you. This was the first black woman to wear a bikini. Yeah, this was considered a bikini, guys. To think that we, uh, we hardly wear anything these days. But this was a very iconic moment because she was the first black woman on a magazine to wear a bikini. And I got this from Non Zuzoro. I don't know why she had it or where she got it from, but I was like, I wanted. Um, Which magazine, Tavern? Tram magazine. Mm. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you can Google it so you get all the info about this legendary moment. But I think beautiful. I personally will cherish this forever. And again, did not pay a cent for it. Love it for us. Now, let's go to the bathroom. Honestly, there's nothing to see in here, but I'm doing it because I committed to this life. So, um, these were from Lucy. Mm. Yeah, Lucy owns these, which was great because again, we didn't have to spend on them. Um, and then this is LO 2.0. Oh, slave. No. But anyways, she's doing really good in here. I love what she's doing to the space and she's just thriving. And then um, over, I'm gonna get up. Here we have storage space for just like when we buy stuff in bulk. And other, yeah, this is where we put other things. This is so redundant. Everyone knows what this does. This is a mirror that we use. <laughs> and then we put a plant. This is also new. Um, yeah. And then what else? This was bought by Carissa again. Um, on the same day that we bought the mirror and the lamp so it was also very cheap I think it was like 70 bucks and yeah I used it as a bedside table at my old place and now we're using it here it was Lucy's idea I did not hear what the fuck she was saying when she said we must do this but it works it's convenient because when you step out of the shower you come and stand here and everything that you need is right here so that's perfect and then on the other side is um our shower and that's that I like, can you please show our shower curtains i love our shower curtains yeah we had to buy shower curtains because the ones that were here before were really really dirty yeah anyways done ding ding, ding. 
All right, guys. Um, yeah, as you can see, my space, it's small, but it's cute and not in like a very luxurious way, which is also just like my personality. I really like basic, simple things that won't cost me a lot of money, but it's also like very cozy and comforting. So yeah, I really, really love my space, as you can tell. Um, but I also want to reiterate that having a cute space doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. And as you can see, um, we are thriving as cheapskates and having a cute place. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also follow my Instagram and my Twitter, please. I'll put the links in the description box below. And then you can let me know what you liked about the space, um, what information you want about maybe when we bought something or whatever. I'm open to any comments that you have or any questions. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Till next time.